Big story here. The stars of Zero Dark Thirty are now throwing their support behind a move to free the jailed Pakistani doctor who helped the CIA to lead the way to Osama bin Laden. This is a huge part of this story. Dr. Shakila Fridi was captured in 2011 right after confirming bin Laden's location. He had gone there under the pretense of getting some uh, blood tests, giving shots to some of the children in the house, uh, you know, sort of under a ruse that he was traveling around that neighborhood. He was able to then give them information that led them to confirm that that was indeed the house. So since then, a group of Hollywood-based activists are launching a help free Alfredi campaign that is aimed at drawing attention to this unsung hero's story. We are very glad to be joined today by Bob and Kira Lorsch, who are behind the free Alfredi campaign, and they join me now. Good to have you here. Bob and Kira, welcome. Good morning. It's so, actually the first time that we've been called activists on this. I think we're just <laughs> concerned Americans about justice and injustice. Activists in all the right ways, uh, good, based on, on what you've told me. So, Bob, how did you said you were in Washington sort of on other business when you became aware of this story. For people who don't know his story, you know, Zero Dark Thirty has been all over the map, and we talked about the torture in the movie, as some see it, but this is the underlying story that really grabbed you. Why? Well, I was in Washington meeting before a congressional committee with regard to health care and excess spending from a stimulus program. And while there, I was invited to Congressman Data Rohrbacher's office where a meeting was going on and they were discussing a Dr. Afridi. And I didn't know much about Dr. Afridi. In fact, I hardly knew anything at all. So I took out my cell phone and I started Googling and looking and reading these stories. And I was just horrified to find out that this is a man who in Pakistan was working undercover in order to pinpoint and identify uh, Osama bin Laden so that the American government could go in and, in essence, take him out. And when it was time for him to be extracted from the company, there was apparently a mess up at the State Department, so his travel papers for his wife uh, were not completed properly, and he decided he was not going to leave Pakistan without his family, knowing full well that he would be captured, detained, tortured, bound, and imprisoned for what turns into be now a 33-year sentence. Yeah. And this is the man who actually was the person who found the person that coordinated the Twin Towers yeah. attack. It's I mean, really pathetic. It is. And, and Kira, you know, obviously this man knew that he was taking a tremendous risk when he agreed to help the CIA get to this house and get information and go to the door uh, and say we're doing you know blood tests in the neighborhood inoculations in the neighborhood uh, can we please uh, you know it, it is such a huge risk that this man took how could we leave him behind in a situation where we understand he is now being tortured and held against his will I think it's terrible. I mean, this is the man who stood up to help America find the world's yeah. most wanted terrorist and a threat to our country. If this is how we treat our friends, who's going to help America next time? What is, the, he, what is the U.S. government saying now about what's being done to get Dr. O'Freedy and his family to safety and out of that prison? Well, that's really the unfortunate part about this whole story. Very, very little. And in fact, Hollywood said very, very little. So that when I was in this meeting at the congressman's office and they were telling this story, uh, as a marketing person and a sales promotion person, I just said, something's got to be done. We're one week away from the biggest stage in the world. Zero Dark Thirty is nominated for a number of awards. And maybe if just entrepreneurially, spiritually, marketing-wise, we could put a message out there that the personalities and the stars and the entertainment industry can grab onto. Maybe we can create a message that will be heard around the world, particularly in Pakistan and at the State Department. Yeah, and I know you're trying to do just that. But, you know, the great irony of this, Kara, is that there was this outrage over the scenes uh, using enhanced interrogation techniques in this movie, that, that they, they were showing torture, that they were glorifying torture. And then you've got this man who is, in reality, being tortured for helping the United States find bin Laden. Where is the outcry? Where is the outrage about, about that real part of this story? Well, that's what really moved me. This is a man who's a, sir, a doctor. His hands have been bound. He's been blinded, blindfolded, and he's lost some of his sight. His, his family is being attacked, shot at. He has children there. This is the real outrage. But I do want to thank the stars of Zero Dark Thirty for stepping up and speaking out. 
and Oscar nominee Jessica Chastain, her co-star Jason Clarke, hit the largest red carpet in the world and said, we believe in your campaign and we stand behind America doing everything they can to get this Dr. Free. So with the Oscar buzz that surrounded Dr. Afridi now, Dana Warbacher has a fresh push in Washington to get this guy out. And Is, maybe some of the people in the House and the Senate and the State Department and the White House will begin to listen because in just a week, we've been able to motivate thousands of people coming to a website, freeafreedy.com, uh, sending for ribbons like the ones that Kira and I are wearing right now and wanting to do their part financially, um, uh, writing, uh, lobbying, encouraging their, their representatives in order to make a difference. Get this man out. Bring him back to where he belongs in the United States. Thank you to both of you, uh, Bob and Kira, for bringing your story to us. Uh, and we have the website on the bottom of our screen right now, freeafreedy.com. Uh, this is the true story of Zero Dark Thirty uh, in terms of this man's continued suffering and his family as well. And something can and should be done about it. We and thank you so much for being here. Please keep us posted, okay? We definitely will. Thank All right. you. Thanks, Bob and Kira.